Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing certainly is bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's not. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 214 pounds. El Toro! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down. This is where it happened, J.A. E. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. 
Rose with a right. A single column tie there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. But Gregor gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Beautiful body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Blocks the shot. Nice body shot there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's going to be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of hit. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop. <laughs> that knee might have landed there. Man, those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it to. Big ball to punch land. Now we get back to range. Ball collar tie. Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, BC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody, but he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. The right hand on point. Oh, the uppercut is there for him yet again. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Liver kick. So a crowd-pleasing approach for him here in round one. He has landed early, he has landed often, and this is really the aggressive approach that Dana White and the matchmakers want to see. Nice start for this young man here tonight. Nice kick. Oh. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Then both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Single collar tie. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands flush with that right hand. Just misses there with the left. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. And they set. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. Well, every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. The striking game isn't looking too sharp right now. Let's play the crack the game. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure. 
but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement. And he is paying the price for it, but by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice straight punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big head kick! to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Just out of range with that left hook. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Lands with the left. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a strike and strike. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Just unable to quite find that range. That kick blocked by McGregor. And he caught the kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Jab to the dome by McGregor. Beautiful strike. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice move to the bottom. Just what he needed there. Right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Good work getting in the way of that knee. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Well, as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 118 total strikes. So without the mark for Connor McGregor. And landing at a pretty good clip. 55% thus far tonight against Connor McGregor. Oh! He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 30 seconds to go. Effective punch there by McGregor. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful head kick. 15 seconds. Look at that leg. Final seconds here of round two. Round three next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights.
highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big head kick lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. Powerful leg kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and there's that Captain McGregor left hand. They got to bronze that left hand put in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick and so accurate, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Oh, lands an elbow, didn't open him up, but very well could have. That right hand hurts a little Back bit. Back and forth we go. McGregor gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Able to check the high kick. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! Nice leg kick land. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Visibly limping here. Oh, McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Watch knees to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by McGregor. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Nice punch there by McGregor. Nice body kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Head kick land. Hook to the head there by Connor. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. 
going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. <laughs> Beautiful body to land right up the elbow. McGregor's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Just out of range. Oh, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us to the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, Conor McGregor looking the part of mixed martial arts super oh. like that right hand. Does that one appear to slow down? striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ground and pound strike is through. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 17 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was 